recipe for my husband and it is just a simple egg salad but I'm adding a twist to it I found a recipe that makes it more high protein by adding different ingredients I want to make it really tasty and then I'm also going to be making some bread today so I'm starting a couple hours before he comes home so that by the time he comes home it can be ready this bread is super easy it's really simple and it is done in only two hours so I am gonna share with you guys how I'm gonna make it. I am gonna leave all the links of the recipes that I followed today in the description below, but I am gonna say that with the egg salad, I did add a couple things to make it my own. Before we get started, I did wanna share with you that on my channel, I talk a lot about homemaking, biblical marriage, gardening, culture through a biblical perspective, things like that. So if any of that interests you and you wanna see more recipes, then definitely subscribe to see more of me. So I'm gonna be starting off today with three cups of unbleached bread flour. It says you can also use all-purpose flour, but I have bread flour on me, so that's what I'm using. three cups. Literally, it's so simple. All I'm gonna do is add the yeast. I got this from Aldi. It's, in, it's fast rising instant yeast into the flour. And then I'm going to be adding one teaspoon of salt. I just have Himalayan pink salt. This is a fourth teaspoon. You can use the faucet all you want to. I'm someone who likes to use filtered water. So what I'm going to be doing, it says that it has to be 130 degrees. So I'm gonna be putting this in the microwave. There's a better way to do that. I'm going to be putting this in the microwave for 30 seconds to see how hot it gets and I will also use my thermometer to check the temp. So it's at 95 degrees so I'm going to be putting it back in the microwave for another 30 seconds and then check the temp again. Alright, it's at 114 so I'm going to do another 30 seconds. All right, now it's at temperature. I'm going to mix it together first. We just put the water in here and mix it until it is well combined. Now that it's well combined, I'm going to go wash my hands and cover this up with plastic wrap. I have a feeling you didn't have to get all crazy like how I did about it, but I like to mix it up with my hands, so you do you. I'm going to be covering this up with plastic wrap and then letting it sit for only 40 minutes. Okay, so now that it's been 40 minutes, I have my beautiful white Dutch oven from Martha Stewart that I'm going to be putting in a cold oven and then I'm going to be heating it up to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. Now I'm going to let my dough rest for another 20 minutes so that it can rest for a full hour. But like I said, at 40 minutes is when you want to put the Dutch oven into the oven to preheat. Now that it's been an hour, look at how much my dough has risen. It looks wonderful. So I am going to follow the instructions and put some flour on a surface, on a clean surface. Then I'm going to put my dough onto the well well floured surface. I mean, look at how puffy it is. Like, it's great. Super excited for this. Sprinkle with a little flour. I'm gonna fold it over 10 to 12 times, like I said, to do. So, keep on just folding it over. It looks so great though. Like, look at that. And 
says to fold it into a ball. And it looks so good. Put a little bit more flour. Make sure that it doesn't stick. Look at how beautiful this is. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited. I folded it into this beautiful ball. I love it. Now it says to put in a parchment paper lined bowl this dough, and then I'm going to put another bowl on top of it per the instructions. If you have a dish towel, you could also use that, so I'm going to be using that. And then I'm gonna let this sit for 15 minutes. While that's resting, I do wanna get started on the egg salad, so I'm going to be boiling some water now. So while that is boiling, I did want to share with you really quick my eggs of choice today. I'm using organic pasture raised large brown eggs. These are my favorite type of eggs to get. I also have some pasture raised, just regular pasture raised eggs because they didn't have organic ones. So that's what I'm using for my eggs of choice and I'm going to be using about 8 eggs or 10 eggs depending on, I think I'm going to use 8 eggs, 8 eggs. All right. So what I'm going to start doing is prepping some of the vegetables that I'm going to be having in it, which is going to be some pickles, cilantro, and an onion. So let's get started on that. So here's a really easy way to cut an onion. First, I just cut long ways. By cut, I mean dice an onion. So I like to cut this way like twice or three times. And now I'm just gonna cut down. And I want them to be like really, really tiny for this egg salad. So, and there you have it. Perfect little dices. All right, now I'm gonna cut up a couple pickles. I'm using the O Snap Pickling Co. Dilly Bites. I'm gonna do one whole packet, which I believe is just one pickle. So I'm just gonna cut it up. Now that the water is boiling, I'm going to add in my eight eggs. Look at how beautiful this came out. It has been sitting for 15 minutes and now I'm going to carefully Use my oven mitts to take the hot Dutch oven out of the oven and place this into the Dutch oven to cook for 30 minutes. All right, so I finally chopped up the pickles and the onions. And now I'm going to finally dice up, finally chop up some cilantro. Now, in the recipe, it does call for parsley, I believe. But I don't have parsley and I love cilantro. You could use parsley though instead if you'd like. I love a lot of cilantro, so this looked like a good amount to me. I'm gonna wash it and then cut it up. So now that the eggs have cooked for 10 minutes, I'm going to place them in an ice bath for an additional 10 minutes. My husband should be home in the next 20 minutes or so. So what I'm gonna do now is place all of these herbs and veggies or whatever you wanna call them 
into the container that we're going to use for the egg salad. Now I'm going to peel and cut the eggs. Please tell me they came out okay. Okay, great. If you use the water, it's really easy. Now that I've peeled my eggs, I'm gonna now cut them all up. All right, time to add them to our bowl. Alrighty, so it's time to finish off the egg salad. So, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, the recipe that I put below, I'm kind of mixing a couple recipes together, so there's that. But to make it high protein, other than the eggs, I'm going to be adding one third cup of Greek yogurt. And I eyeball, I eyeball a lot of things, so I'm going to guess that it is around, around that. And it says to add two tablespoons of mayo and this mayo is about to be done with, um, so I'm just gonna use the same spoon because <laughs> I'm gonna throw it away. Um, I will say though, I don't like using this mayonnaise because I know it doesn't have the best ingredients in it and I really care about that stuff. But we're finishing this up today. I'm putting just the rest of the mayonnaise, just a little bit of mayonnaise in here, so not a lot. I'm adding some organic paprika. I'm adding a teaspoon of dill. I wish I had fresh dill, but I only have freeze-dried dill. But adding a teaspoon of that. And I'm going to be adding a little bit, let's say half a teaspoon of salt. I have some coarse grain mustard that I got from HEB. So I'm gonna add a little bit of that as well. along with just some regular organic yellow mustard. And then I'm going to be adding a squeeze of lemon. This looks amazing. I'm now gonna just use a regular fork and just mix it all together. All right, just to make sure it's good, let's try it. is delicious. Okay, now that that's made, I'm going to take out the bread from the oven and check on it. Wow. Look at how pretty this came out. I love it. All right guys, so look at how beautiful this came out. Just here. Just here. Let's see a crunch test quick. Come on. Come on. All right, so my husband did just get home, so I'm going to cut this up quick and plate it and show you guys how beautiful it is. So, but look how beautiful. All right, guys, look at how beautiful this is it is crusty on the outside perfectly moist and beautiful on the inside so yeah that's also a great reason why to use bread flour instead of regular flour apparently it's supposed to help with that as well so I have one beautiful piece and I'm going to plate it and show you guys the final result this is the final result of dinner I made some beautiful bread and I put it some of the egg salad on there and it is absolutely delicious. Now, with that being said, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video today and me exploring, making this bread, making this egg salad for the first time. My husband loves it, so it's a win. But if you wanna see more videos like this and you definitely wanna like, comment, and subscribe, let me know if you tried it and what you did differently, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.